So as we looked at before, we're looking at having a, a, a hurl that's a nice short hurl and um, that's easy to control. But we even want to shorten it again, especially when we're going to strike in from the hand, which we're going to do a bit of now. So um, we should be gripping the hurl at three quarter length. And when we strike our our hand that we're holding the ball in now at the moment, that should come to the front of the hand that's holding the hurl. So the hand that's holding the hurl should go to the back and the hand that you're going to catch with or hold the ball in, that should come to the front. So Nathan's just going to do a couple of strikes up against the wall there and catch them. So we can go low against the wall or we can go into the middle and try and catch it to our hands. Try to alternate between left and right and get as many of them as we can in in 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of striking from the hand. Uh, we're going to be striking off the wall and back to hand. Uh, in this case, it's important that we have a short grip again. We, we were talking about a, the hurl being a certain length there at the beginning of the videos. Um, now we're going to even go shorter again. 90% of hurling is played with a short grip. So we want to grip it about three quarter length. Um, we want to keep our elbows pretty tight to our body when we're striking and we want to um, use our wrists and our forearms to move the ball rather than our shoulders and our arms. So if Nathan's going to strike there, he's going to try and catch this. And we just get a rhythm going where we're striking and catching, striking and catching. Get your hand up to protect there. Um, the hand, the catching hand, get your hand uh, up with the hurl up, either in front or behind to protect. Now, if you're lucky enough and you have a wall either side of you, you can alternate from high catch, turn around, strike, low, control, and strike up, up high. And as we move forward, these are the drills that we're going to get into that we're getting more complicated and a little bit more advanced. So we're just going to do a little ball control drill here. So we're going to control the ball on the boss of the hurl by just bouncing it up and down and keeping it as controlled as possible. Keep our bounces as low as possible. And as we get a bit more advanced, we can start switching the sides of the hurl. So we control either side to make sure that we're controlling the ball from all angles and we can bring it back under control and into our hand whenever we want to.